Good morning friends, I am Dr. Ashish Sarwal, urologist and men's health expert from New Delhi, India. Today I am going to show you an interview of a 53 year old patient from Ghana and he was suffering from prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is a very common disease in men. It is the most common cancer in men and it is the leading cause of death due to cancer in men. So the awareness for prostate cancer is very important. One of the main reasons to show this video is to raise the awareness of prostate cancer because if somebody sees this video they will know that there is a disease by the name of prostate cancer and it can be life-taking and life-threatening emergency that you should get treatment for this. Many patients are diagnosed with prostate cancer but they don't know it and they don't understand the importance of treating it. And then the doctors also don't have full knowledge and then they misguide the patients. So this is a live example of a similar patient. Right now it is 2024 and he was diagnosed with prostate cancer five years ago, that is 2019. And what he was telling that that time he went to his general doctor and they never tested his PSA and never guided him properly and then there was COVID and because of COVID two years he did not go to the hospital and then in 2022 when he again went to the hospital then the cancer was diagnosed and after that also the treatment was delayed for various reasons. So it's a very interesting story. Let us listen to him by his own words what he wants to tell. Yes please. Yes thank you Dr. Aziz and thank you for all those who are listening or who will be watching this video in the future. Yes, as he mentioned, my name is Emmanuel Aminta from Ghana, West Africa. In 2018, I went to the hospital to do a general checkup. And there I was informed that my sugar level was high and there was signs of prostate cancer in me. The only advice I was given is to reduce my sugar intake. Then towards the end of October 2022, I decided to go back to now check about my sugar level once again. So when I got there, the result shows that the sugar level was way too high and the prostate they saw also was very high. The PSA was high. The PSA was also high. How much was the PSA? I can't remember now. It's 68. Yes, but it was when I went to the general, well, the specialist. Okay. It was the specialist that told me it was 68. Okay, okay. Yeah. Anyway, it was rather a, an ordinary person, not a medical personnel, mm. who knows about this specialist called Dr. Afuku. Mm. And he knows that Dr. Afuku is a neurologist. But the other doctor I have been going to is just a general medical practitioner. Mm. Therefore, he advised that I should, instead of me going to Dr. Well, the general medical practitioner, I should go to Dr. Afuku, who is a, a urologist. Yeah. Therefore, I went to <coughs> Dr. Afuku. So this is also very important that if you are having any prostate issues, if you are having difficulty in urination or the urine is not coming properly or you have to go to the bathroom repeatedly, all these symptoms are related to prostate and for prostate, a urologist takes care. You don't have to go to a general doctor for the prostate problem because the best person to help in your prostate problems is the urologist. So anyway, so when you went to the urologist, Dr. Foco, then what happened? So he then <clears throat> made me to go for the PSA test. And the test result shows that my PSA was around 68. Right. And then he told me that it was way too high. Therefore, they needed to do biopsy to ascertain the level of the cancer. So at the end of three weeks, the results came. That was sometime in the middle of November. And it showed that really my cancer level was also high. Mm. Dr. Afoko then told me that the only way to do it is to do radical surgery. So after Dr. Afoko realized my PSA was too high, he referred me to India, which I accepted. And then he linked me with the specialist here in, in India, who is Dr. Aziz sitting at my right hand side. So I now started the preparation and eventually I came to India. To be honest, I am so happy to be here. And I'm happy with the kind of welcome that I received. And Dr. Afoko, uh, excuse me, Dr. Aziz actually received me. I see that he received me like his younger brother. He interacts with me just like his younger brother. And the hospital that took care of me, the kind of attention I was giving was so phenomenal. And I was so thrilled by that. From the cleaners to the nurses to the uh, administrative staff, everybody came to my room to interact with me, which I really felt at home. I was so happy. 
with the warm welcome I received from them. Yeah, so one thing uh, you missed out that when you came here, the first thing was that since the PSL was very high, I said that most likely the cancer has spread. So we did a PSMA PET CT scan. Yes. So the PSMA PET CT scan luckily showed that the cancer had not spread anywhere and it was still localized in the prostate. And then we decided to do his robotic surgery, the robotic radical prostatectomy. So we did the surgery about two weeks ago and uh, what you're telling is all the experience in the hospital while you underwent the robotic surgery. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. So then it was a successful surgery. Everything went well. You were discharged after three days? After three days. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So then after that you are, you're doing fine. We removed your catheter about uh, three, four days ago. Yes. Okay. So how is the urine control right now? The urine control is also okay. It has reduced significantly mm. and I can move about without any problem. And uh, yesterday I asked you, you were saying that you were using uh, just two diapers, one in the morning and one in the evening. Yes, I do that because I just don't want to be to remain wet. Okay. So in the morning when I go to bed, I remove it. Yeah. And I use it for the whole day. Mm. In the evening when I'm going to bed, I remove it and change. Yeah. Yes. So, but more or less your control is good. You are going to the bathroom normally and everything. Yes, I'm going to the bathroom normally. Okay. When I get out, I'm able to control it before I enter into the bathroom. Okay, good, good. So, he has got a very good result. Even the biopsy reports of the prostate cancer came and it shows that the cancer was confined to the prostate and it was just stage 2 cancer. It had not spread beyond the prostate. We had removed the prostate, we had removed the seminal vesicles, we had removed the lymph nodes. So, there was no spread of cancer in the seminal vesicles, there was no spread of cancer outside the prostate, there was no spread of cancer in the lymph nodes. All lymph nodes were negative, seminal vesicles were negative, margins were negative. So, basically, he is cancer free and urine control is good. So, results have been really good and uh, you are flying back day after tomorrow? Yes. Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, today is Friday, he is flying back on Sunday. So, overall, uh, your experience was good, you are happy? Yes, I am really happy to be here. All the people I interacted with, I'm happy to meet them and they all accept me and welcome me to India. And you felt as soon as you came, the treatment started quickly and there was no time wasted? Yes, yes. That is one of the things I, the things I admired so much because the treatment started quickly. I did the test the first day, the second day, and then the third day I was in the hospital to prepare for the surgery. Yeah. And you were also telling that uh, in between while you were searching for treatment, you went to Ireland and they wasted 4-5 months and did nothing? Yes. I stayed in Ireland for 5 months. Okay, you went there for treatment, right? For treatment. Uh -huh. With the hope that the radical surgery would have been done, performed. Mm -hmm. But only the tests and the scans were made on me. And I was told that the procedure is complete. I should get back to my country and continue doing the hormone therapy. Yeah. So this is also very important that uh, if the cancer is localized, the best treatment is to remove the prostate and be cancer free because if you just keep on taking hormone therapy it suppresses the cancer it doesn't control it and after some time the cancer starts increasing and the hormone therapy becomes ineffective also there are side effects like it is expensive hormone therapy has to be taken lifelong and there are side effects of weakness and weight loss weight gain high blood pressure pressure on the heart diabetes all these side effects happen if you're taking hormone therapy for a long time so it should only be taken if the cancer is spread to the whole body and not for a localized cancer where it can be totally removed and successfully by robotic surgery. Yeah, so anything in the end, like you're flying back tomorrow, you want to tell to the patients about awareness of prostate cancer and all those things? Yes, my message is that, especially in Ghana and in Africa, as you mentioned, prostate cancer is common in men, but many people don't know. Mm. Even when they are suffering from it, they are not aware. So the awareness is not there. Mm. Therefore, I would advise that anybody who realize the frequency of passing urine is increasing and maybe experience some kind of irritation or pain around the groin should immediately ask for the specialist and to meet them for attention. Yeah, that's important. That's a very important point that do not take your urine problems lightly. They can be cancer. So you should immediately go to the urologist and consult him. Don't go to a general doctor and try to take things lightly. Because even the general doctor might not have full knowledge and he will miss your cancer and ultimately you will have a problem. So friends, I hope you liked his interview and you are also more aware about the prostate cancer. If you or your relative, somebody is suffering from prostate cancer and you want to consult me, you can contact me on email or on WhatsApp. My email address and WhatsApp number are given in the description. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Aziz. Okay. I really appreciate everything that you did for me. Thank you. Thank you.